Look at that yeast starter, people. It did that within about one to two hours of making this starter. It is a wit beer yeast starter because we are making a wit beer, won't you know? That's what's going on. This yeast is amazing. I think I've experienced um, some. Uh, Big starts like that before. This is what we got. Imperial Whiteout. Uh, B44. It's outrageous. I mean, the foaming is crazy, so for sure I'm going to be doing a blow-off tube. I love making the whip ears. I don't think I made one for three years. I make a half a of whip beer last year. I was on Kavike in the summertime, so that kind of derailed all that other stuff. But I'm back at it. I'm making a fairly traditional wit beer, which is just one of my favorite little summertime styles to have. Six pounds of pills, three pounds of wheat, pale wheat. Might have got white wheat. Um, they backed it up for me because that's how they do it right now during the COVID. 1.5 pounds of flaked wheat. So that's four and a half pounds of wheat, six pounds of pills, ten and a half pounds total. Uh, I've got some German tradition to bitter it. I've got the bitter orange peel. I do like half ounce at 15, one teaspoon of crushed coriander at 15, and then the same at zero. Also, I got these because I will probably need them for okay loudering. But I'm doing the yeast starter tonight. Actually, the wort is being produced as well. I'm going to do that thing where I hold the wort overnight. Do the boil in the morning, but that yeast starter just kills me. I mean, that thing is outrageous, but hopefully, in fact, it had bubbled over and spilled over. It was all over this box. It was all over in the back here in the counter. I had to clean it all up and wipe down the outside of the container. So definitely some fresh, healthy yeast, hoping for a nice beer. I can't remember if I showed this yet or not, but this is some tapache I'm making, and it's really actively fermenting now. It's a pineapple-based, spontaneously fermented thing. I'm going to be making a video on that that you will be able to see. It might already be up. It probably will already be up by the time you see this. But all I wanted to do here is, here's my one ounce of bitter orange peel, I'll do half ounce at 15, half ounce at flame out, and then this is what I just do with the coriander. I just put it in a bag, or you could probably just do it on a cutting board, and I just, I don't have a rolling pin yet, but I've got this big bottle, and I crush it, so then I just crack it, so then it makes it release the flavors and aromas a little bit, and that's going to be getting added in here soon. The boil is out yonder in the garage. But I'm cooking up some breakfast in here. So this crazy yeast starter, remember, this thing, the Croizen got all the way up to the top, foamed out of the container, was a big mess down here. Very active. I think I did do a shot of that. Any hoosies. Time to pitch the yeast. See if we can make it down these stairs. I got five gallons of the wort as you can see right there here is the hydrometer sample so that has a nice potential wit beer color i am not getting a reading right now let me see if i can take an initial look i think it's going to be about 1050 but we shall see let me see if i can cut I already put on new foil and cleaned this all off, but as you can see, it foamed up again. I kind of remember that from wit beer yeast, but let me give it a smell of this. Woo! That is nice and yeasty and wit beer smelly. All right, so here goes. A lot of yeast in here.
definitely going to sanitize the blow-off tube and get that attached today. So this whiteout strain from Imperial is really something as far as how fast it gets going and also how much croizen it creates. The beer was fermenting within about two hours from pitching it uh, yesterday. It's now about 9 in the morning, so it's not even been 24 hours since I pitched that starter. But, as you can see, I set, definitely needed the blow-off tube. And I'm pleased to see it's 68 degrees, so it's not getting too warm. That's a pretty good temperature. This strain could probably stand to be in the low 70s, but... This beer will not take long to ferment, I bet. That's list true. The four well, extra stout, the tropical stout. Is... Just for you, Don. Two Five days hours. late, but just on time. All right, so here we are. We got Tony. Thank you for coming. To, well, he didn't come. I came. Uh, he was already here. Wow. And a chip. Hold there you up. go. And uh, here's the white beer. It's about three weeks from brew day. I don't know why I got my shades on. Uh, future's so bright. But uh, it went down to 1.009. And as you saw from the yeast starter itself, I think I maybe did some footage of the crazy uh, blow off. I did put a blow off tube on it. And it just, you know, filled that thing this all the way up. This yeast was Mm-hmm. Is there coriander, orange peel, any of that? Yes. Kind of? Okay. Uh, 15 minutes from the end is half of an ounce of the bitter orange peel, one teaspoon of coriander, and then mm. the same thing at flame out. So I just buy the one ounce pack of the bitter orange peel at a time and just split that up and do it like that. Um, for my money, this is uh, basically almost exactly what I want to drink when I... I'm thinking that I'm being presented a whip here. Yeah, no, it's. Yeah, I'd agree with that. This is. This is uh, incredibly true to style, I would say. And it looks like a whip beer right now. It yeah. may get clearer, and yeah. that's why I like to do these tastings and take a picture before it gets clear. Where um, we did, we had a fan sent you one, and it tasted like whip beer, but it just had gotten clear. But yeah, it's. it's pillowy to quote I, yeah. you within that video. This yeah. is pillowy, yet still effervescent and weedy. It's got a nice, like, fruity, citrusy kind of flavor, I'm sure, from, like, the bitter orange peel, but also I think with, with yeast kind of do that, too, when they're used in a really pale wort. I think the wit beer yeast does have a nice flavor contribution. I don't know if I'm great at describing it. Um, it's sort of herbal and, I mean, I guess clovey maybe in a way. Yeah. If you don't use it, then you don't get the full flavor. Um, like you said, pillowy, I think it has a softness yeah. to it. It's not hoppy. And even for the additions of the coriander and the orange peel, one ounce of bittering hop, it's not sharp. There's no like sharp edges, no. I don't think. The style alone has these two things in it. Mm -hmm. Orange peel, coriander. Yeah, those two things. Those are unique enough. The yeast itself. Um, like you say, the wheat, there's three pounds of malt of wheat and a pound and a half of flake wheat, and then oh, I think yeah. six pounds of pills. Man, yeah. And yeah, 1050 to 1 1.009. So even for how low it goes, it's not like, it doesn't taste overly dry. I think the yeast has some residual kind of just body or flavor to it. It's a nice light hand on the coriander too. Coriander can get overwhelming yeah. quickly. Yeah. Like you say, people may have had a sour wit. Uh, I don't know if there's such a thing as a hoppy wit. I feel like maybe that's been something sure, I've well, had. And, there's imperial you know, there's, Sure, you have lots of things but you I could do. But I think a hoppy one still wouldn't come off crazy, because I mean, they're hopped with what, UKG or Styrian? This or? was just German tradition. I don't know yeah. if that matters. It's I mean, just, even if they were overly hopped, well, I don't think it would be a hop that, like you might be like, oh, that's not finishing as pillowy or sweet or round. It would just come off as bitterness versus like flavor. It'd be sure. crazy to stick like a whole bunch of flavor hops in something like this and just be like, I don't know. 
What the hell happened? <laughs> but as far as the first time using the Imperial Whip Strain yeah. Whiteout, I'm pretty happy with it. It's just what I was going for, so thank you to Imperial for your donation to the cause. Anyway, you guys probably have, uh, you know about the whip here. I just kind of did this video in case people don't know much about it. It is a really nice summertime style. I either tend to make something like this or a half of ice and every yep. other year, kind of like one or the other of those is something that I want to drink when it's like this. Yeah, if you like half, this is in your wheelhouse. Absolutely, what's just the ABV on this one? Well, it was 10.50 to 1.009, so I don't have the, that at the hand, but five and a half or something, yeah. Five yeah. yeah, a half has a little bit more, like, in your face. Perfect. Like, I am half, I am bubble gum right. or banana right. or clove, and this still kind of comes off like a cream ale, wheat beer. Yeah. Just with a little something extra from yeah. that yeast. Perfect for a hot day like today. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.